Hi guys, so today I thought I would test the Beauty Pro Black Diamond Black Peel Off Mask that I got in my Glossy Box. Now, this is apparently $4.95 for free sachets. So I'm going to be looking at whether a sachet does my full phase, whether there's much like wasted product in here, as well as the effects. Now, this company says that they're against animal testing, but not necessarily fully cruelty free. And I can't find anything on their website about which part of their policy means that they can't get the leaping bunny. But we're going to try it since we've got it anyway. So I'm just at the shower. Well, I've dried my hair. Um, so I'm going to put this on. And it says leave it for 10 to 20 minutes. So it's faster than some of the other black masks. Although I have to say I'm finding this kind of fidgety to try and get out. Because I'm almost like working it with my left hand. Which I'm not left handed. Um, but... So the ingredients on the back of this, it's a fairly long ingredients list. Um, but things that I kind of didn't expect to see, things like seawater, lavender flower water, strawberry extract. And this does actually smell quite pleasant. I couldn't tell you what it smells of, but it smells pleasant. Um, this is all down my hand. I don't like the packaging already. I can tell you that I find a squeezy tube just much easier to deal with um, and this seems a little bit liquidier than other black masks that I've used um, this is slightly stinging my eyes actually so that's interesting there is alcohol in here, it's the second ingredient so that might be why this one dries faster um, the first ingredient for that is water so that'll be why this one is runnier as well so um, so far it looks like I am going to use the full sachet um, to try and get a decent layer because what I find with these is if you do a thin layer they're really hard to peel off so you're best to get a relatively thick layer of product but this is just running all down my hands because of how liquid it is so that's slightly irritating um, I can get some of this back. I get quite a lot of blackheads near my mouth. Um, I don't know if it's cause of like lip gloss I wear, it just means there's more oils around there or whatever. But or if it's my dinner. Um, that's about as good an application as I'm gonna get because it actually the stuff of my hands is starting to get drier and stickier already. So Time just now is quarter past eight, so I'm going to leave this until about 25 past and then we will peel it and we'll see how how we've got on. I'm still fidgeting with it. Right, I'm going to wash these. Hi guys, so I'm back. It's now actually been 25 minutes. After 20 minutes I noticed bits were still a bit wet. There's still some areas, but this whole cheek and my chin are pretty dry, so I figure as long as I start here with the removal, the rest should have caught up. Um, just to kind of show you how liquidy this is, it actually dripped on me while I was waiting for it to dry. Um, I was also having a nice little nosy at more of the ingredients. Now, this says it's got activated charcoal, it's like the one ingredient on the front that they kind of boast of. Now, ingredients for cosmetics are always listed in order from the most prominent down. Um, as I said, the first one's uh, uh, water, the second one's alcohol, the third one's a different kind of alcohol, actually. Charcoal powder is down in eighth place, so I don't know how much charcoal is really in this. I also noticed that the description of what this mask does is just that it loosens blackheads and cleanses deep into the pores to remove impurities. So I guess they're kind of getting away so that if you don't actually see any blackheads removed, they never said they do that. But let's start peeling this off. We'll see how awkward it is and how sore it is. Um, so the areas I haven't dried, I think, are just ones that I've put more product on. But given this is like a kind of almost single-use style sachet, um, I feel like it should have been enough to do my face properly and not have problems. So this is certainly not the most painful one I've had to peel off. Um, 
Okay, that bit's still wet. And it's kind of staying in one piece quite well. Yeah, so you can see where we've reached the, the wet patches now. Um, ah. Okay, let's try and inspect what we've got. Okay, so let's get it the right way around first. So this is going to be my nose area, which is where I normally would get some blackheads coming off. I'm not really seeing too much, to be honest, possibly more like just bits of dead skin and small vellus hairs. This here is actually just holes in the mask, not massive blackheads. Um, but there's nothing really sticking up there. And let's zoom in on my nose so that you can see that I do have um, you know, black heads and pores and things that are, you know, they're still quite prominently there. Um, so, I'm not 100% impressed right now. Um, let's peel off my forehead and see if I've got anything there, although I don't really get forehead blackheads anyway. I will say this is less painful than another one that I've used, which I can't remember the name of. If I got my eyebrow. I think I've caught my eyebrow. Um, so when I wash my hands to get the residue off my hands, they do feel quite drying, um, which is probably the amount of alcohol that's in this. So if you have dry skin, definitely would not recommend this as a blackhead treatment. Now, I don't think that was fully set either because it was all gunky and stuck together in the middle. But again, looking at the bridge of my nose where I do still sometimes get blackheads, I can't see any. There's definitely hairs in here though, and I see an eyebrow. So um, I've slightly waxed my eyebrows by accident. And these areas haven't dried yet, and it's now been half an hour since I put this on. So I'm gonna try and get these little edgy bits where it's been thinner, and then we'll go back to those. So, ugh. I mean, like I said, this does hurt less than others, so that's one thing. But I'm also not seeing any of my blackheads actually really coming out, um, which is kind of pointless. I don't like that the time it tells you on the packet to wait isn't long enough, um, and 10 minutes longer, in fact, isn't seeming entirely long enough either. I'm almost more rubbing that off than anything else. This patch feels like it might be dry enough to peel. No. It's so gunky still that it's not really peeling. To be honest, I use masks like this more just down my nose anyway because that's where I get most of my blackheads that I have a problem with and you know that's where I would usually focus it. So all in all, I'm going to say I don't like this product. Um, 4 95 for free uses means I effectively just paid £1.70 for that. Um, my skin looks quite red and aggravated. Um, it doesn't feel very comfortable. It feels quite cold. Um, it does say that you need to rinse your skin with warm water afterwards, which I'm assuming is to get rid of the alcohol, which will also be why my skin feels cold because alcohol evaporates really quite quickly and it leaves your skin feeling cold and I expect my skin's going to feel quite dry. So if you use this mask you probably will notice a reduction in oil but it's got nothing to do with the charcoal or in my opinion it's got nothing to do with the charcoal. I reckon it's got more to do with the amount of alcohol in it is going to make your skin drier. 
Um, I just don't think I got great results from this. My skin does feel a little bit smoother. Um, you know, flakes of dead skin are going to stick and get, you know, pulled off. But I suspect that's going to be quite short-lived anyway. So I'm going to get this video edited and posted. And if I notice any ooh, changes in my skin, um, I will update that in a little speech bubble so that you can see. But for now, I'm going to go and rinse the alcohol residue off my face and peel bits off my leg that I had dripped down there. Um, so if you guys have got any questions about this, um, please leave them down below. Oh, one other point that I should have mentioned. As I said, I tend to stick to just doing products like this around my nose. So in that sense, I think the kind of single use sashi is a little bit of a waste because you don't need that whole sashi to do that area. Um, so squeezy tubes are easier to reseal and keep fresh. So bye guys and bye to the beautiful black diamond peel off mask. Bye.